The one big difference in recent years that I've noticed when reviewing golf clubs is the quality of the direct-to-consumer market. And with a lower cost business model, that can only mean one thing. As golfers, we can potentially make huge savings. But, and there are some buts, there's some negatives that need to be considered. So in today's video, I'll be looking at two of my favorite latest releases. Oh my God, that's gone close, and this is getting a lucky hole for me. Two releases, one from Tacoma, which was their 101s, and the other is from PXG, their 0211 X Core 2. And I'll be looking at the difference of those two clubs, but also the positives and negatives of that direct-to-consumer market. That's another decent crisp strike. So the first one was the uh, Tacoma, the second one was with the 0211 X Core. And it looks, in terms of distance, in terms of carry, they're very, very similar. We'll pay closer attention to that very, very soon. But first of all, take a close-up look at how these two sets of irons line up visually, because I think it's fair to say that both brands have done a stunning job in terms of appearance-wise, and you'd be pretty happy with these sitting in your bag, whichever you choose. So interestingly enough, both of these irons are hollow-bodied. The PXG has the Magic X-Core 2 solution, the foam inserted into that hollow body. Whereas the Tacoma 101, well, that's hollow. There's nothing in there according to Tacoma. In fact, they say very little in terms of how this product has been put together. Now, for some people, they don't want the tech story, but for others, they want some plausible technological development that suggests they're buying a new product that's going to give some kind of advancement, at least in technology, to help improve their game. And uh, let's be honest, there's no right or wrong in terms of the way you think. Each of us are very, very different in that department. So what about performance? How do these two clubs differ? Well, I'll talk about that when we uh, eventually hit a five and a seven and a nine iron from each set of clubs. But let's be honest, I've reviewed both of these clubs in the past week. They were very, very impressive. So there's not gonna be much change in terms of my overall opinion on these. But in today's video, what I'm trying to do is separate the two and find out what those key differences might be. Okay, so the first thing that differs in terms of these two clubs is the way they look at dress. The profile is slightly different, even though I think both of these irons are very much aimed at the same market category. And that's the mass market, in my opinion. Anything from sort of a low single figure through to a high handicapper can play these sets of irons, in my opinion, from a capability perspective. But then when you look at the dress, you'll notice a visible difference in the top line. And I think PXG have done a better job in refining that top line. I'm not saying overall the profile is greatly different, but the way that one thing that impressed me about the PXG is the way the top line is chamfered off a little bit. And you see that uh, top line, that leading edge just kind of uh, is, is falling off and it makes a big difference to how you look and they sit. One has a top line that looks like a super game improvement iron. Let's be honest, not too far off it. The other has a much more refined look. And the overall profile when you see them head to head is just a little bit more compact on that 0211. But again, that's very much down to personal appearance. We've already said that visually, both of them look incredible. Now, of course, there are other differences that we're gonna talk about. One of them being there is a slight difference in the loft. The weaker loft being that of the 101 in the Takamos. But then there's also another difference and it's perhaps a major one. Yeah, that first key separator is going to be really important to a lot of people, and that is the cost price, because uh, 
The Tacoma was advertised around four or five hundred dollars. What you've got to then factor in is some, I don't know, it's import or export duty and some VAT. So people are looking around five fifty dollars for a finished product delivered into the UK at least. Then you compare that to PXG's product and that's 700 quid. So seven irons, 700 pound, or around that sort of 500 pound mark. So the first question is, what am I getting for my extra 200 quid if I go down the route of the new PXG X-Core 2? And that's the first part of the equation that we're gonna look at. And there are some significant differences. You do get more for your money, in my opinion, from the PXG product, the question is, is it important to you? Right, so this part of the video where I look for some feedback from yourselves, and that is uh, either of these models on your shopping list for 2022, or in fact, there are either of these in the bag right now, because uh, I'd love to hear from you, but also your fellow golfers would. So uh, get in that comment section below and uh, let us all know your thoughts. So that key factor that impacts on the price for me is shaft options and whether you know your specs or not and whether you're prepared to go for the limited options. So the price points I've given you are for what we would call the stock options from both manufacturer in terms of standard shaft choice. And that's fine. If you know where you're at, like I said, and you're happy with the options that both of them give you, then you're at your 500 pound, you're at your 700 pound. But if you want to get custom fit, well, unfortunately, there's only one brand that can make that happen, and that's PXG. And then it's the shaft options that you then get from PXG, which you're going to pay an additional premium for, but it is a clear divider between the two business models. One is very much direct to consumer, with six shaft options. The other is offering direct to consumer pricing with custom fit as an option and a lot more wider choice in terms of shaft option. And that's a key separator in this whole equation. Now another key difference is where they both sit in terms of brands and uh, PXG very much offers a full range to say the least in terms of putters, wedges, different iron sets, then you've got all your hybrids, your fairways and drivers and plenty in that range to choose from. So it's very much a complete golf brand. Whereas Tacoma is just irons only and right now limited to just three ranges of irons. That could be something that sways people to one particular brand. Some people like to see their full bag and bag included completed by one brand, but for others, it's gonna make no difference when we're just looking at an iron head to head. Slightly left the target. The first ball you're gonna see me hit now came off of the 0211 X core. The one thing I've noticed, I've probably performed more consistently with the X-Core product. I'd largely put that down to the fact I've got a custom fit shaft in it and it's very much suited and custom fit for me. We've already highlighted that as being a big key difference. And that ultimately maybe plays a part in the feel and sound. There's not a great deal of difference in, in terms of feel and sound from one. I've got to say, super impressed with what Tacoma have done with this 101. I'd say there's a slightly crisper um, and softer sound that comes off of that X-Core 2 model. But for some, sound and feel is not important at all. Well, I think we'll pretty much end it there, and that's the five iron from the Tacomo set. I'm more than happy with that down the middle of the fairway. And I think what you're seeing from the clips that uh, you watched of both, well, all of the irons, five, seven, and nine, there's very little to split them at all in terms of ultimately their performance. Like I said in a previous clip about the sound and feel, ultimately a bit more stability for me, maybe from that custom fitted shaft in those uh, PXG irons. But this video started off by saying that the direct to consumer market had got uh, advanced a lot. In terms of quality, 
And that price point is really key as well, obviously, in the fact that quality or price point's no good if the quality is poor. And that's not the case with any of these models we've looked at in recent weeks. It's certainly not the case with the Takamo or the PXG models. So for me, in terms of my ultimate sort of uh, appraisal of it all, it would be quite simple. Depending on what you're looking for in terms of that custom fit model, it's going to largely sway you which way you go with this. If you're happy with the limited stock option in terms of shafts that Takamo offer, there's no reason why you can't save yourself a few quid and go down that route because it is a very, very good iron. But there are certain, little bits that are better with that PXG lineup, in my opinion, and we've sort of been through each one of those, so I'm not going to repeat them. But ultimately, it's that custom fit option that really separates them in terms of their price point right now, in my opinion. That's it. We'll leave it at there. It's all about what you think, and I'm very much interested in your feedback. From the question that I asked earlier, is uh, are either, either of these two on your shopping list, or are either of them in the bag right now? And either way, I'd love to hear from you, as would your fellow golfers in that comment section below. Right, I'm all done. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.